it's time to look back at some of the greatest gadgets and explore highs and lows of the most impressive drinking tech that we tested in the last 12 months. Blender Cap. Former Apple engineers introduced the most powerful portable blender on the market. We tested this little beast and I said I would recap the performance before the year ended. It's not as powerful as traditional plug-in blender, but it almost effortlessly blends tough ingredients and any fruits. For me, it's more than enough, and I love that this thing is so small and wireless. I didn't notice any significant battery loss, but I pretty much plug it in after every use. The blades look the same as six months ago. They improved the original cup instead of the regular rounded one I used in the video. This new square clear cup is available now, which is supposed to blend ingredients even better, but I didn't notice any significant difference. The only issue I had is sometimes it won't connect properly when you screw top of the bottle. I need to unscrew and screw it back in. Also, it's not as easy to load ingredients quickly into the bottle as you would load the regular blender. But I only use the regular blender now if I need a bigger cup for large drinks or to blend something like watermelon. Soda stream. The exceptional machine to carbonate water is Soda Stream. It was something like $100 during Cyber Monday, very simple to use. It allows you to add CO2 to a large amount of water. The big tank lasts for a very long time. The downside is you can't use for anything but water. Well, you're not supposed to. I chose to void my warranty on day one and carbonated different drinks, but I wouldn't recommend that. Woo! Flavor Blaster 2 Pro. A tool that infuses drinks with burst of aroma and flavor through edible bubbles and mist. The Pro 2 now has even slicker design, a magnetic top, USB-C charge and enhanced waterproofing. Uh, minor improvements from the previous model. I love it and I hope that future upgrades include an attachment with a different light when you release the smoke. And the new player in this uh, smoky bubble space is Microfogger. A pocket-sized portable device works the same as a flavor blaster. It creates a toxic-free fog. It also makes bubbles. And thanks to this attachment, it can make a liquid fog for presentations. Microfogger has a detachable battery that works for 30 minutes of continuous use, which is a lot. It doesn't look as slick as the Flavor Blaster, but it also doesn't cost as much as the Flavor Blaster. I made a full recap on this too. If you plan to use it for your drinks, check it out. Multifunctional gadget. This $30 gadget replaces almost all your bar tools. It has a jigger, knife, opener, citrus reamer, muddler, corkscrew, and a bar spoon with 10 different tools taking very little room. It's like an ultimate Swiss army knife for drinks. Maybe it won't replace your shiny, high quality traditional bar tools, but this one is ideal for camping or traveling. And speaking of traveling, this mini espresso machine is perfect for your coffee drinks on the go. It pulled a pretty good espresso shot with a rich crema, very easy to use. It hits the water and extracts espresso automatically with just one press. Cold water takes three to four minutes to heat up. It brew four to five cups with 50 milliliters cold water and two, three cups with 80 milliliters cold water when fully charged. Compact size, wireless. I like this machine, but recently, I discovered the super automatic intelligent espresso machine for home. So before this year, I loved uh, using manual machine to make espresso or espresso based cocktails, but I wanted to try a fully automatic machine to save time in the morning. And right now, this is probably the greatest home espresso machine on the market. It has an intelligent brewing system. The machine knows how many beans need to be ground, so it will make a perfect espresso. And Milk IQ, recognize what milk you use, soy, dairy, oat, or almond. Then you can choose the desired temperature and froth level and steam it without holding a pitcher. It's a machine for someone who wants to make drinks at home of the same quality as you would get at a coffee shop without learning any barista skills. Absent fountain, well, it doesn't have any intelligent tech. It's pretty straightforward, but it's like a stylish time machine for your home bar. It's elegant. All design turns the process of serving absent into captivating experience. Just don't forget to buy glasses, spoons, and sugar cubes, bottle openers. We tested every opener that exists from China to the United States, and the best one is 
No, not the window breaker slash opener from Timu. The most practical with the best design is this German resealable beer bottle opener. And in a separate category is the modern tipsy opener. It's functional and also gives satisfying vibes. Now some honorable mentions. The most exciting device for ice is the Kakigori machine, kind of expensive. And the worst is Miller Lite limited edition ice mold. That was probably the most unnecessary drop of the year. My expectations about Robert Bartins were way too high. I think they're not getting better. I think they're getting worse. But the Consumer Electronics Show is coming, so stick around and let's see the latest and greatest from the drinking tech world.